Evening YouTube. So, um, thought I'd do a little video in response to Brian over at Got Fuels Model Car Garage. Asked us to do a little bench tour. <laughs> this is it. <laughs> I don't have a very big bench. So, I'll pan back out here in a second. I'm holding a, uh, my iPhone like I normally do. Um, and I'm going to show you the stuff that I use and um, and um, some of the paints I use and that type of stuff um, I thought would be a good addition so because it's gonna be a short video if you just do my bench so I have this computer desk so this is what I have it's got shelving up here of course the teddy bears aren't mine the trophy is a pool trophy um, that right there is storage for some paints and some glues. Um, this down here is my main workbench. And this is the only place I build off of. So you can see I got the Bronco on here. Doing some work on it. And uh, <clears throat> down below is a little space there where I put these totes in there. And these totes just hold paints and tools. So um, these are like my aftermarket stuff and my hobby knife and sandpapers and um, those types of things. By the way, I love these uh, Tamiya um, sanding sponges. Those are nice. Um, highly recommend those. Um, these are my snippers. These are from Gundam. These are really nice. Um, really sharp. Stayed sharp. Um, paints I use mostly to me, Tamiya. Um, glues are all Tamiya. Um, but if you'll notice in here, I think everybody should have, um, tube of that stuff yeah you all know what that is so <clears throat> I use that when I do some scratch building um, and these are all uh, mostly Tamiya however I really like these um, metalizers I think I'm dark anodized anodonic gray um, I use a lot of those um, and it just contains everything in case I have a spill. I have sprue goo that I've made, some primers and stuff. Um, up here is where I got shelving up here, so I'm going to pan out. So this is the size of the desk that I sit at. Um, it's my chair. Um, so over here, you'll see... This is where I keep my models. So the two models on the right is currently what I'm working on. Um, and that's for uh, Fred Henry and his Georgia Bulldog love. Go Notre Dame. Go Huskers. Um, and then these are all the races that I've been to for, I'm a NASCAR fan. So the programs and autographs and all that stuff. And uh, when I was very young and uh, this is a die cast, but the rest are model kits that I built. Um, and these are my most recent builds. Um, also have a shelf up here where I've got some more, some more builds. Um, if you pan over here, I got my other hobby, which is my guitar, but down here is, uh, where I keep all my paints. Um, in here I have some more tools, sandpapers. Um, these are flannel polishing cloths. These are MCW paints. I have some uh, Mr. Finisher primers in there. I have AK. Um, I think AK. Yeah. Extreme Metal. Those are really good paints, by the way. Some um, Alclads. Some Alclads in here. However, um, I don't do any painting in here. Um, so, um, I go outside in the garage and do my painting, but this is where I keep my airbrushes. Um, I use 
the clips. I have a number one, number two, number two is for clear, number one is for everything else. Um, well, I'll we'll walk you out in the garage. You can't make fun of the Hondas, my, my one to ones. Yeah. All right, so this is the garage. Um, these are where I keep my spare parts. So all my spare parts are in here. Um, my tub of Windex for when I do my windows. Um, some more tools. Another airbrush. I love this airbrush. Pache H. Um, back here is my primers. Um, I like these primers a lot. Um, this one is a filler, and that works really good. Um, these are all just paint stands. You can tell this is empty, but take a beating with all the paints that I put on here. Uh, back here, I use nothing but lacquer thinner to clean my brushes. And um, old beat-up towel that I use to clean. Um, I use, when I use... Um, 2k i use 2k from restoration shop they're really good products um and that's pretty much it um that's what i use so for the 2k so i don't have to open the jar on and off um i use a mason jar that's sealed with some plastic so it keeps it fresh um and of course in here oh boy have all my other stuff um and one of the primary things you need gotta have a mask um so i got some pledge in here and shop towels and spoons and stuff and those types of things. Um, and that's pretty much it. Let me put this back up real quick. pretty much it um, don't have a, that big of a space but what I've realized is people um, you don't need that big of a space you really don't um, this right here I can fit you know a whole model on there and I can be very clean about it I don't have to worry about it um, and, uh, <clears throat> makes everybody happy, you know, stay out of the way. I don't cut the surface with the mat, you know, being down. Um, I do the YouTube videos, um, only as a thing to update. You know, I don't have a YouTube setup like everybody else does. I don't have that. Um, I never really set out to be a person that puts videos out on YouTube so um, I don't have something that's set up for that I just use my my phone and then just walk around with the phone so um, one thing I did realize if I can get this to work um, is you know that because I use this and I'm always videoing this way, um, nobody ever sees my face. I always wanted this, the vid these videos to be about the models, you know, but what I've discovered is that people, people don't <laughs> recognize me when I go to a show. So one of these days I'll put my face on the video, but that's it guys. Nothing else, um, to really give you an update on. Appreciate you watching, appreciate you subscribing, and appreciate your thumbs up and all your comments. Um, I think that's it. So, everybody have a good uh, weekend this weekend. Um, 
and uh, take care of yourself. This is Terry. I'm out.